I'm really not surprised at all that uh, President Trump has actually used terms like holes to refer to Haiti and other uh, African countries. I'm Cora McDonald in Montreal, where asylum seekers who arrived here from the United States just a few months ago are condemning the hateful words used by President Donald Trump to describe their countries. Very discriminating. He, he, he discriminates. He doesn't accept black. He, uh, he hates black. Trump is accused of using vulgar language behind closed doors to refer to immigrants from these countries. Trump denied making those comments, but it appears the damage is done. We are not surprised at all because we know that he's a racist and he how tiny his brain is. So this former liberal MP says that she isn't at all surprised by the president's choice of words. Trump to anyone who has done their homework on him is a racist. She believes Trump's vulgar comments highlight what a divisive issue this is in the U.S. I think that speaks to the fact that there is so much inequity that exists within the democracies that people are being marginalized. Some say it will ultimately force more asylum seekers to head to Canada. I, 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 I really wish more people to come to Canada. From people come from Sudan, Nigeria, there is a, a, a they have to, to, to hurry because that, that kind of speech is not, it's not fun at all. But it's more complicated than that. Of the Haitian asylum seekers who came through uh, summer 2016, that only about 10% of them have been accepted. Jennings says asylum seekers are still slowly trickling into Canada from the U.S., and she agrees that a new surge could be on its way if the U.S. doesn't renew the temporary protected status of some of its refugees. The Canadian government sending down members of parliament and uh, uh, others who speak Creole, who speak Spanish, who speak uh, the language of those communities is really important to let them know, no, it's not a free ride, no, um, you'll be able to make your uh, asylum claim, but the chances of you actual, it actually being accepted is very low. For City News in Montreal, I'm Cora McDonald.